Now, on my community page, only 14 hours ago, I posed the question, when the Philippines reopens, will flights cost the same as prior to COVID? Now, in the poll, we've got 69% of people who say airfares will be way more expensive. And we have 8% who say airfares will be the same, 4% who say airfares will be cheaper, at least initially, and 18% say airfares may be different depending on the countries and airlines. Well, in this video, I'm going to take you to our airfare comparison website, where you can be sure you'll save a lot of money on your next trip to the Philippines. And in fact, right now, the airfares aren't as expensive as some people may think. And even going as far as the middle of 2022 and beyond, you can get some very good prices going to the Philippines from many countries around the world. So if you want to see why I think most people in this poll are wrong about airfares that will be way more expensive, then be sure to buckle up and stay with me here. Now, if you haven't voted on my community poll for this question, then please go ahead and do so. I'd like to get as many votes on here as possible. As I say, it's only been going 14 hours at the time I've recorded this video. Now, if you haven't put your vote in this poll, then you can still do so by going to my home page and then selecting the community tab. Now, as you'll see, we've had just a few people leave comments here. And here we have Diamonds and Legends, who says, already check prices. And in 2019, from Boston to Davao was 1,200 US. Now it's 2,600 US, hoping prices will come down by the time things open in the spring of 22. Well, we're going to have a look at that shortly, Diamonds and Legends, and I'm going to show you how you're going to save a heap of money. You can get tickets that are much cheaper than 2,600 US from Boston to Davao. We have Ross Goulet, who says from Qatar to Philippines, it's already 50% higher for an economy ticket. Well, I'm not really sure what price it was from Qatar to Philippines previously. But again, Ross, stay tuned because I'm going to show you how you can get even cheaper tickets than what you're probably finding right now in your search. And we're also going to be looking at from LAX, so in Los Angeles to Manila. We'll have a look at Sydney to Manila and also from Heathrow to Manila. I know a lot of you guys are from those countries, so that will be very interesting to you. And again, I'll show you where you can get your best savings on your next flights. Now, here we are on the CheapOware site, which I'll put a link in my pinned comment and description below that you can access it and have a look for yourself. You'll definitely find the best prices on airfares to the Philippines and just about anywhere else in the world for that matter. Now, here I've got the search in for Boston to Davao in the Philippines. As we may remember, Diamonds and Legends was saying that that particular flight cost 2,600 US. Well, here on Cheapo Air, it will cost you less than that. Now, this is for the February and to March time period where we can see through American Airlines and Philippine Airlines, you can get tickets there for $1,872.99. You can see at the top here, it's giving you the various prices with the different airlines. And if you don't have any specific dates that you want to fly and you're flexible, then you can move those days around and you may find even cheaper prices. And to save even more on your Boston to Davao trip, what you may prefer to do to save money is if you put in Boston to Cebu, then you'll find flights for that same time period as we looked at, February 23 through to March 15 of 2022, down to $1,098. So you fly into Cebu and then you may get a local flight to Davao. Let's assume it costs you $150 to go to Davao from Cebu. Then you're looking about $1,250 return ticket. So that's far better than the 2600 that Diamonds and Legends has been looking at at this stage. So we're looking at saving Diamonds and Legends about 50% on what he's been looking at at this stage. And then we'll have a look at what Ross was saying, where he's saying going from Qatar to Manila 
be saying that currently it's um, about 50% dearer than what it used to be. As, as I say, I'm not really sure what the prices were before, Ross. So you might be able to comment when you see this if the prices are still dearer on cheap hardware than they were. But to me, this doesn't look too bad. As we can see here, it shows us the airlines. We have non-stop or one-stop. Now, $1,277 direct to the Philippines from Qatar. To me, it doesn't seem too bad. That's a direct flight. Or you can go a little bit cheaper, $1,086. And it's a 27-hour trip with one stop. So you've got a bit of a layover there. But to me, that Philippine Airlines one looks to be a very good value. And we can check the box here for non-stop if that's what we want to find. And then we can see that Qatar Airways there is offering $1,334 return. And there's the one from Philippine Airlines, $1,277.99, which is an eight-hour and 55-minute direct flight. That's the good thing with this website is that you've got a, a good snapshot here of what airlines and what prices are available. You can make your selections on the left here according to non-stop, one-stop or two stops. And you can filter other things in as you scroll down. In just a moment, I'll show you that it's not all that expensive to go from LAX to Manila or from Heathrow to Manila. But first, I'll just show you, this was my Qantas flight for me and my family back in April of 2018 and the prices that we paid back then. So we're talking getting close to four years ago now, three and a half, four years ago. Now, we were going from Dubbo to Sydney, first of all, because we live in a regional area. And it's about an hour flight from Dubbo to Sydney. So we obviously paid about $200 extra per ticket to the flights to and from Sydney. So that being said, these prices we got here, $986, were pretty cheap at that time because you take that $200 off and it's about $786, so under $800 from Sydney to Manila, which at that time was pretty good. And I did have to book six months out in order to get these prices because Trying to get it within two or three months was $1,300, $1, $1,500 Australian. Now, what we find here with Cheapo Air, from February 8 to March 8, 2022, there's some fantastic deals here. Now, we'll see here $810.99 return with Qantas and Malaysia Airlines. So you're going both. But the problem here is that there are two stops and one stop respectively. So it's not direct flights. If you want direct flights, you click up here on the non-stop. Your cheapest in February and March is going to be 1556 which is roughly still double what we paid four years ago. But if you want to get around the same price as what I paid four years ago to go to the Philippines from Sydney, then we need to be booking in advance by about six months or so, six, maybe seven months. So we scroll forward and we have a look around May, let's say from the 5th of May to the 31st of May, and we hit the search. Now, just allow it a, a 20 or 30 seconds to load up because it will change as, as it finds new pricing. It'll change. And what we're seeing straight away here at the top here, we can see that there's one stop. You've got one stop flights there and you've got a couple of direct flights as well. One with Cebu Pacific and one with Qantas. So we click on the non-stop flights from Sydney to Manila. And there we are under $800 return from Sydney to Manila with Qantas Airways and Cebu Pacific Airways. And so that's by planning ahead around about six or seven months in advance, these really good prices, which were certainly pre-COVID prices. Now let's have a look for my friends in America, say they're going from the West Coast, so LAX to Manila, around those same dates. We can leave that in May 5th, but you can, you can check whatever dates you like. But as I say, if you're looking in November, December, January, 
then you're going to be paying higher prices no matter which year it is, whether it's during COVID or whether it's pre-COVID, they're always higher prices. So we're looking around May or so, you're going to find from LAX to Manila, prices as low as, what, $780 return with one stop by Singapore Airlines. Now, if you want to go direct, you can do that for $1,194. And you can do that with Philippine Airlines who have quite a few flights available for the, that same price. But if you want to do it a lot cheaper and you want to go this two-stop route, then press that. And there you go, $780 Singapore Airlines. It'll take you 31 hours, nearly 32 hours to get there, but you can do it. And you can save quite a lot of money. And again, if you're going from LAX, but this time you want to go to Cebu, then the prices are fairly similar as what they were straight into Manila. So non-stop, 1,035 via Philippine Airlines, or if you're looking for a cheaper ticket, you'll find $748 via Eva Air. So this is certainly going to save you quite a bit of money from what a lot of you guys were thinking, how the flights are going to be much more expensive once the borders reopen. Well, you can see you can book six, seven months in advance and still get really good prices. Now, one never knows what's going to happen in the future. But if you want to secure some good prices now, you can certainly do so. But now for our friends in the UK who might want to go to Manila. We'll leave the dates the same there. So we're looking about six months in advance to get our very best prices. And here we go. The With one stop, so there's no direct flights, obviously, a bit far away from all the way in the UK, I'd say, to... Manila, we've got one stop for $653 via Malaysian Airlines. You can check the flight details by clicking that button there. Get one free bag, basic coach. But again, make sure you're checking the conditions around changing your flights if needed. That's where sometimes getting the slightly more expensive flights can pay dividends. So to me, that's a really good price going all the way from Heathrow Airport in London all the way to Manila. Now, just in case you're looking to go into Cebu, we can check that as well. And we find there we can do that with two stops for $800 or one stop saving you 10 hours in traveling time for $1,189 straight into Zabu. Now, as I say, guys, you can do this from any country you like. I haven't got that time to go through all these different countries, but you can see the savings on what people were saying and what people were thinking in that poll. But you can actually get flights right now from three months time to six or seven months time that were pre-COVID prices. Just go to Cheapo Air. My link is in the pinned comment and description below. So click on that, have a play around with it. And if you want to save some money, that's where you go to do it. So feel free to put your comments below if you found that Cheapo Air is beating the site you've been looking at. And going by the poll, I think this clearly shows that Nearly 70% of people who felt that they'd be paying much more for their airline tickets now, well, they might have a change of heart after looking at this. So pop your comments in as well. But whatever you guys do, I wish you all the best. Take care. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.